We present a convolutional neural network which is able to take a single colour image, such as the one shown here, and regress the camera's full 6 degree of freedom pose in 5 milliseconds. It is able to determine the camera's position and orientation within approximately 2 metres and 3 degrees for large scenes spanning 50,000 metres squared. Here we show what the view looks like from the predicted camera pose on a visual reconstruction of the scene. This is that view overlaid in red on the original input image. Here are some more examples with different scenes from our data set. The image in the top right is from the predicted camera pose. Note that the reconstruction model is purely for visualization and plays no role in the relocalization algorithm. We created a novel relocalization dataset from smartphone video taken by a pedestrian walking around an urban environment. Each frame is labeled with a 6 degree of freedom camera pose, which was computed using large scale dense structure from motion. We use this labeled dataset to train a convolutional neural network to output camera pose given a monocular RGB image. The training images, shown here in green for the street scene, and testing images in blue, were taken from distinct sequences at different points in time. This is a very challenging relocalization dataset because each scene covers a massive spatial area. For example, the church scene extends around the entire church. Our convolutional neural network can even correctly localize images that look very visually similar on each side of this church. There is a lot of visual ambiguity and symmetry in these scenes. Furthermore, the data set was taken over many days with a large variation in weather, crowds, and other traffic. We also tested our system on indoor scenes using the seven scenes data set, which is shown here. Our system does not use any depth information. Visual reconstruction with SIFT failed on many of these scenes as they contain very challenging, ambiguous and textureless objects. And here are our results. We have randomly taken images from the testing dataset for each scene. You can see the input test image in the top left and the predicted view in the top right. The predicted camera is in red with its true position shown in blue. One convolutional neural network is able to regress the camera's pose for the entire scene. This entire network copes with multiple facades and landmarks. Previous metric RGB relocalization techniques would have required a database of point landmarks taking gigabytes of space and many seconds to relocalize. Our system takes 5 milliseconds and requires 50 megabytes to store the neural network's weights. In conclusion, we believe this is a step towards bridging the gap between scene recognition and metric localization. As a localization system, it not only beats GPS's accuracy in urban environments and can function indoors, but it also determines orientation.